Hello, and welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to dive right into the pens. No unboxing, slow reveal, or any of those video styles. And these are two pens that if you watch me on Instagram, I posted a picture of them a couple days ago. They came in these boxes, which I've also got my 355 snowflake in a box like this you know maybe they're a special run uh, maybe they ran out of some of the other boxes but these boxes unlike the other one they come in a cardboard sleeve had no labeling whatsoever so those that you have any familiarity with pen bbs recognize this is the amber acrylic so when the 355 first came out in amber i missed it so when it came out again i grabbed it be interesting with this in the matte gold trim like my uh, vermouth four five six but this is just a great acrylic uh, your standard one and three quarter turns it has that very nice stylized amber is a cat with two paw prints on it nib this is that standard nib that they've had on pen since the beginning with that little turn up at the end section same material as the pen and this has just a great chatoyancy to it and it has that dimensional quality so if you turn it 90 degrees it's not as translucent then when you come around again the translucency comes back to a very different degree i mean this Resin has a lot of a variety to it, a lot of complexity. Um, it's just unique. I've never seen anything like this in any other pen. So this is my third 355. I certainly have many more 456s, but I, I like the 456 for its ergonomics and uh, the filling system. At least this one, you can follow it and look at it and see ink level. And this is that classic 308 or some people use the number that's on the band, which is 266. And the story behind that is when they made these bands up and did the tooling, they used 266. But when they sold the pen, they sold it as a 308. So I guess they didn't want to retool or do anything, which is fine. So this is also that same amber acrylic. And it just looks great and this is very similar here it almost is like a wood grain effect so every pen is unique which is one of the other nice features about some of these types of acrylics and this again has your little bit less than one and three quarters and the same amber is a cat silver tone nib section same material as the cap and barrel so we're just going to take a quick look at another amber pen I have. This is the first one I got, which is the uh, 469, the double-ended pen. So I'll give you a link to the full review I did of this. At least I think I did a full review, or when I first reviewed it. And one side has the silver tone amber as a cat, and the other side has a standard nib in it. There's the amber as a cat nib. And then on the other side, it's a standard nib. Two-tone. So unlike the other uh, red 469, which has a medium nib and, a, and, and the fine nib, this one just has a fine nib, just two versions of it on either side. And the amber still has that same nice little pattern to it, uh, the chatoyancy that the other ones do. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to show how this pen is filled the 355 which is the bulk filler so inside there is a rod there's a blind cap at this end so you t turn it counterclockwise takes a few turns and once it's disengaged then this rod will pull up and you can see there's a piston at the end of that rod you pull it all the way up to the top and then you continue to turn this counterclockwise, the same 
direction and you'll feel it engage relatively quickly. And once that's engaged, you can push down and now that whole piston assembly moves up and down. Take the cap off because I can feel the air resistance. So it moves up and down. So what you'll do is, is when it's in the down position, you'll put it in ink. You pull it all the way up. And then I kind of do this. And you hear it snap in place. And then turning this clockwise, you can disengage the piston. And now you just have that rod going up and down. And the piston stays at the top. You got to be careful because that rod will displace some ink. So a couple drops will come out there. So it's always good to do this over the bottle of ink and put it back down. When you write with a pen, you should unscrew this blind cap because this piston in the rod, if it's all the way down, seals against the end of the section and pretty much isolates this. Makes it easy to go on airplanes, at least that's what I've heard. So that's it. Here's a, a look at the instructions that uh, Penn BBS is putting on the Etsy site, which hopefully you can follow with what you've seen me demonstrate here. So hopefully you've enjoyed this quick look at some amber pens. Amber is a beautiful material unique to Pen BBS as far as I can tell. And they do roll around. This is not a level surface. Ah, they almost stayed there. Here's my glamour shot. I haven't put the crabs to work for a while. They've been kind of lounging around, so I figured they needed to hold up some pens, and these are great pens for them to hold up. So, we've reached the end of this video. It's just a visual video. Just something to wet your whistle. And a lot of commenters have said that I'm responsible for them spending a lot of money on pens, and as I would use the phrase, uh, you can bring a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. So I can show you pens, but I cannot make you buy them. Uh, that's something that you do. And hopefully, uh, because of the videos, that you make better decisions, get a lot of joy out of the money that you spend. And you, you're turning it into a pen, which can have a very long life associated with it. And you can use it to put thoughts on paper, share with your friends, family, read your journal later, and then be amazed at some of the things that you write about. So until then, thank you for watching. Um, may you have many great, wonderful, exciting writing experiences with the instrument of your choice. So enjoy your day. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy your life. Till the next video, bye for now.